So this is how to update your RTS transmitter. Make sure that the transmitter is fully charged and that the receiver is also charged. Put the receiver on the right memory channel, the one corresponding to the RTS you want to update. Open your My Flight app. Okay, in the top left corner you press on the menu, the little bars. Then you go on Info, press on Info. He will check which uh, available firmware there is. Select your transmitter, like in this case it's 9778. He will say me that there is a new firmware ready to install. Press install. Make sure your transmitter is turned off before doing that. Press install. Press continue. Now you turn You wait uh, until it says that the microwave is connected, that the Bluetooth is on. You press continue. Firmware has been downloaded successfully. You press once again continue. And you turn on the transmitter, the RTS. Okay, and now it started to update like you see. And uh, well, you just wait until it makes its, its update. I will pause the video. So this update can take a while, you see it's like uh, 170 blocks out of 1800, so you have to wait obviously to be patient until the update is completed. One little detail, you have to uh, obviously to have uh, a micro F receiver, which has uh, a quite recent firmware, otherwise the update won't be possible. Just for your information, uh, only the transmitters which have a version V4 and superior can be updated. But that is something that the app will say you. And uh, yes, the update works only with an Android app. Uh, with the Android app, it will not work with the iOS app. You cannot update with the iPhone app because of the iPhone security settings. Obviously, uh, before doing the update, make sure that in the settings of your app, you have your login, which is properly filled in. Your ULOG login has to be filled in because this will allow you to connect yourself to the server and download the latest version of the firmware for the transmitter. What uh, does the firmware offer? Well, it offers uh, several new functions in the RTS like the automatic sleep mode that you will be able to program from ULOG and also the sleep command uh, that you can send from the receiver and the wake command that you can send from the receiver. <coughs> and the automatic sleep mode uh, is something I will explain in uh, a video at the end of this update. As you see, we're getting closer to the end. It's 1,600 blocks out of 1,880. And we will go on with the recording at the end. So we're getting close to the end of the update. I forgot to tell you, you need a decent internet connection uh, so the app can download the program. So you're seeing that we are getting to the last blocks. And once it's at the end, like now, it says update process completed, and that's it. The transmitter will start to work again in a normal way. You press on the on the tick on the box finalize, and it will be finished. Now, about how you can program it for the automatic sleep mode, we will go to the ULOG page. It is uh, a new another a new page which is called Test ULOG. Okay, you go in with your login. And once you're on the page, you can select a transmitter. In this case, I will select the 9778. Okay, and if you click on the top right corner, first thing you can change the zoom. You see this on the top right corner, the bird symbol. I prefer to put it on the four arrows because this allows you to zoom in and zoom out automatically. Okay, and if you go on the top right corner, you have these three dots. You go to configure transmitter. You've got the sleep mode, which is like always, battery save mode, like always, 
track mode and then auto sleep. Auto sleep is an automatic sleep mode that will sleep your transmitter even if it's not in contact with with the receiver or with with uh, lock or whatever if it has no network it will sleep automatically at the time you define so if you press auto sleep and you press auto sleep on okay you can select the hour that you want to start it like i want it for example at six o'clock or at 6 30. i will go at even at 7 30. uh this is GMT time that's very important so if you're in Europe you have to take into account that uh, your real time is one hour more in the winter and two hours more in the summer so like for example it's 7 30 GMT this means that in Belgium it will be 8 30 when the transmitter is sleeping you press define on the lower right part so you see that auto sleep is on it starts at 7 30 p.m and you can um, enter the number of minutes. You can put it a maximum of 12 hours. So in this case, I will put it 11 hours, that's 660 minutes. Okay, and then you press send, and you will see in the top left corner of the app that it is pending for an auto sleep command starting at 7.30 for 660 minutes, okay? Mm -hmm. uh, once this command has been received, you will have a confirmation message in the top left corner. But it is important uh, to know that once you've connected the auto sleep, every day at that, at that time, the transmitter will sleep automatically. You are able to uh, wake it up manually, but that's something I will explain in another video. Uh,